Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a plan with me for the week of May 1st through the 7th, which at the time of doing this video was last week, so I'm finally caught up. I'm very happy to say I didn't have anything super special going on this particular week, so I am using a spring kit because technically for me, I feel like May is still kind of spring and then June gets into summer, so I pulled out this spring chirps kit from Apple Blossom Prints. This really fun artwork, artwork, sorry, from I think Rose Babe Graphics is the artist. And I believe she put out like so much spring artwork that I have like three different kits with her art. So this is just one of the many. Um, this is an older format and this was before I started getting printables. So there is some extra stuff. I have to choose whether to use this particular scene as a full box, a double box scene, or a big box. And I chose big box. So I'm actually only working with like seven total full boxes, which is so weird. So there's actually going to be a day on Monday when I don't use any full boxes, but honestly, it still like looks okay. And then it's just like one less thing to worry about. So I'm okay with that. I was going to go with like a pink foil, but then I was like, I use pink so friggin' often. I just really feel like I want to use champagne lights for this kit. So that's what I pulled out. I have my basics that I've already used some of and then I have some floral stuff because it is um, a very flowery kit. So obviously I'm going to pull in my floral collection. I think it's my first time using it. So I just have the smaller pieces. Um, I have the big box overlay. Um, and then I have the full boxes, full box overlays, underlays. Some of these are half cut because I'm using a big box extender. And then... We have some of the confetti overlays. Um, I'm going with these two for my washi. And then I did pull in these as well that I'm just going to fit in everywhere I can. The little garlands. I freaking love these. I'm going to try to do these for every collection going forward because obsessed. And then I have the headers extra deco. I didn't realize I printed it out twice, but I did. And then some, or a quote, and then some dividers. So we're going to go ahead and lay all that down. And then I will see you on the other side for the day by day. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the day by day. Starting off, I am marking in the sidebar Anastasia's birthday. So her birthday was actually sometime in April, but I literally did not remember to mark it at any point during any of those spreads. Um, so unfortunately, we're going to have to stick that in the first week of May, but I did want to include it. I could not pass up the chance to mark anything with Anastasia, especially since I just made a bunch of like super custom like holiday themed stickers, uh, doodles of her. So I really wanted to include one and I actually chose the Easter one for this one, which again, it's not Easter, it's not even April, but it matches the colors of the spread so well that I just had to do it. And there's like, you know, there's other like eastery type elements like the old bunnies in the spread as well so like it's it's all matchy matchy that's a-okay with me so yes i did put happy birthday anna and then the little easter anna with the little easter eggs which is adorable but yeah had to include that at some point i think last year i actually did like a whole birthday kit for her which is hilarious um i do want to do like like maybe draw myself like a little birthday snake kit that would be so funny um I don't even know what that would entail other than just like a regular birthday kit, but like with snakes in it. I don't know. That'd be funny. That would be just for me. Um, so on Monday, I started off marking work. So I did printing and cutting and foiling. I actually, due to the arrangement of the stickers, chose to mark foiling first. So that is my own doodle there of the foil rolls. And then I marked printing and cutting with a sticker from Papershire. And then we actually had 
a call with our lender who is um, working with us for our home buying journey. So we had our like initial discovery call with him to see what our situation was um, and just like all the questions that we had about it because this is both of our first time um, like applying for a house. Well, I actually think he's applied before, but um, it's our first time doing it together. So that went well. And that sticker is from Paper Dolls Co. to mark that. Um, and then I had a popsicle that day. That sticker is from Some Little Things. And then I decided to, in celebration, make myself a glass of vodka horchata, which is my new quote unquote invention. I just, every time I want any alcohol whatsoever, I will just take whatever drink I'm currently enjoying at the time and then just like throw some vodka in it. So, you know, at one point it was like lemonade, you know, I've done white Russians or chocolate Russians, yellow Russians, pumpkin Russians, any variation of that. Um, but lately I've been really enjoying horchata. So there you go. Vodka horchata. That's my new drink. Um, I just love the versatility of vodka for that. Um, anyways, that is my own old style doodle for that. And then after that, I don't know why I decided to do this after the, the alcohol, but, um, I decided to start our pre-approval application online. So we did fill that out that night. Um, and that sticker is one of these spring laptop stickers from the Coffee Monsters Co. So I did go into my spring, um, sticker collection for this spread. I finally remembered to like do something properly seasonal. Um, so yeah, we did fill that out. Um, and then, uh, we watched Lord of the Rings, um, the two towers that night. Also very good. I used a, I think that is a Boromir sticker from the Papershire Lord of the Rings sheet. Um, and then that evening, I think I read some of my real estate investing book, um, that I was reading the previous week. That sticker is, um, another like spring reading sticker from Papershire. Tuesday, we had our meeting with the realtors that I had set up the previous week. Um, and I used a sticker from the Once More With Love, like, house hunting sheet for that, because we did look at some houses while we were there, or at least online. Um, and we kind of talked with them and figured out what we were looking for, which I did explain in the previous video if you want to kind of hear all the deets on that. Um, but yeah, so we had our meeting, and then um, we got home, and I was like, I don't know, I for some reason got super tired and I passed out. Um who even knows why, why that was. I, I'm not really a big napper these days, but like, I feel like I've been marking naps a lot lately. So who knows? I'm just a tired girly, I guess. So that sticker is from Apple Blossom Prince. And then my boyfriend, for some reason, decided to put on HGTV, which was so funny to me because my mom was obsessed with HGTV, like when I was growing up and I'm sure she still is, but I don't have to be subject to it anymore, but she would like always have it on. And so I thought that was like a really funny, like mom thing, but like my boyfriend wanted to put it on. I was like, okay, I mean, sure. Like, I think he wanted to like watch it to like get ideas about stuff or just like for fun. And I was like, I don't know about this because my taste is so different from like other people's. I was just like hating every decision that they made and like it just like wasn't an enjoyable watch for me. Like I probably could have wanted to watch more of it just to like see the process of like renovating it. But he was like, no, like who cares about that? I'm like, that's the only thing I care about. I don't care about the color of the granite because like whatever they choose, I'm not going to like. I just want to see how they put it on because that's interesting to me. <laughs> so we couldn't come to an agreement on like what we were going to get out of HGTV. So we, we haven't watched it since, but that was just really funny. Um, that TV is from Carly Plans. We also tried to bring Aurora to the dentist, but um, like... The, I guess the one he had chosen before, like, it didn't match his, like, new insurance that his job provided him with, so that was a fail. We could not have that appointment, so we left, um, and then went to Walmart to do some, like, grocery shopping that I guess he had missed the previous day, so I used a Walmart sticker from Sticky Perks, and then I cooked a dinner. I cooked more beef stroganoff. This time, I cooked half of it without onions because Aurora does not like onions, and she, like, exclaimed that it was, like, so good, and it was restaurant quality, and she loved it, so... That was definitely a big win for me. And of course, you know, my boyfriend and I loved it too. Beef stroganoff is like always a winner. Um, so that was really good. That sticker is from Pumpkin Paper Co. And then I did print some sheets. Who knows what they were for? I think they were for orders actually. That sticker is from Crafty Planner Co. And then um, I just wrote that it was a great day overall. Um, and that sticker is from, I think, Once More With Love. So going into Wednesday, unfortunately, I did have a migraine. I marked that with a sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. This was the start of a very long stretch of migraines that is continuing to this day. So it's been like 10 days, 11 days, I want to say, 
this, I don't know what is going on with my brain. It seems like a neurological issue. Like I've gotten migraines from caffeine withdrawal before, but not this bad. So, and not lasting 10 days in a row. Like that seems like something's wrong. So I don't even know what is going on with that. Um, and then I marked that I made a breakfast burrito with, um, some, some of the fillings that my boyfriend had left for me to create that. And it was my first time like rolling a burrito and I was very pleased that it turned out so well. Um, that sticker is, I think from Fox and Cactus maybe. Um, but yeah, that was delicious. And then I took another nap. I, again, was a tired girly. That sticker is from Happy Daya. And then I got to work. So I did printing and cutting. That's from the Coffee Monsters Co. Foiling. That's from Happy Daya. And then packing orders. That is from Sweet Eva's Paper. Called my boyfriend because he had left for work by that time. That sticker is from Paper K. And then I marked reading, um, I think more of the real estate investing book. That is a, another spring reading sticker from Papershire. Going into Thursday, I slept in. That sticker is from Papershire again. Washed my hair. That's from Stick with the Plan Co. And then um, I just had extra room because I needed to fill up four sections that day. So I marked coffee. Um, that sticker is from Papershire. And then I finally watched episode, I think, eight of The Lost Symbol, which is a um, TV series based on the book by Dan Brown. I freaking love that series by Dan Brown of like Angels and Demons, The Da Vinci Code, The Lost Symbol. There's, I think, Inferno, and then I think there's maybe one more. Um, actually, I think I've read up to Inferno, and maybe that's it. Um, I don't know. I'd have to check my Goodreads, but they made a TV show on The Lost Symbol, which honestly would not have been my pick for the book to make a TV show out of, but it's, it was still pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, I watched up to like episode eight last year and then just like pfft, took a really long break and like never watched it again. And then I, I thought I wasn't going to finish it, but I just like decided to put them all, put it on randomly and I got hooked again. So I am going to finish it. I watched episode nine recently and I have only one more to go. So I'm almost done. I'm just going to knock it out just to say that I've watched it. So I marked that with a sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then I unfortunately had like a big bout of anxiety about house hunting that sticker is from papershire um i think i was just like freaking out that like I, I realized that the ones we were looking at like with the realtors were like way over budget and i was like and i for some reason had not accounted for this earlier and i like was really embarrassed and like didn't want to tell the realtors that oh actually we need to be looking at houses half th of this amount because of our budget and i i just felt like that would look really bad on me for not knowing that to begin with and like i'm an idiot and i don't know i just I felt really bad about that and also the fact that none of these houses were on the table now so it felt like a huge waste of time and I felt really stupid so yeah that was not good um and then I went back to work printing and cutting and foiling the stickers from paper k and paper shire respectively packed orders that is from stick with the plan co and then I think my mom called that is from paper shire again I finished the real estate investing book that's from the coffee monsters co yeah I finished that in like three sessions of reading like or maybe four I don't know, pretty fast. Um, I just really wanted to finish it before we started looking at houses for real. Um, and then I placed an Amazon order that is from Happy Daya. And then also Carly Plants was having a sale. So I went ham. Um, there's like eight icons that I need from her in every single color. So I, just because of budgetary reasons. <coughs> so just... <clears throat> So just because of budgetary reasons, I was only able to purchase like four of them in all the colors that I wanted. So I am going to wait until her next sale to purchase the next four. But yeah, love all of her icons. That sticker is from Paper Shire to represent that sale. Friday, I marked planning with a spring planning sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. I did um, a workout, which included bike. I always say like bike workout, but in reality, bike is only like 15 minutes at the end of the workout. Um, usually it's either full body or core before that. Um, so I think this was probably full body and then some cardio at the end, but I just really wanted to use up these bike stickers from Carly plans. And then I marked a migraine again, which I had had one the previous day. You know, I've had them every day since then, but I, for some reason only marked it these two days. So there you go. That sticker is from Whimsy, and then I got the Amazon delivery that I had ordered the previous day. I love this, like, one-day prime shipping now. I know it's probably overworking the Amazon employees, like, even more than two-day shipping was, but I do like the convenience of 
getting things the next day because some things I do order like as an emergency like I need it right away so next day shipping is really nice um that sticker is also from happy day so it was the next one to mark business and bookkeeping and then um I helped Aurora with her math homework that is from scroll prints co and then I drew some doodles um this was when I drew the laptop doodles and the other like holiday snake doodles and like all kinds of other stuff um like ordering foil and all that so I drew those that night that sticker is from SPC and then I was like trying to get them to work with my Canon printer for some reason they worked really well in the HP office jet but um for some reason premium matte on the Canon is a lot harder than glossy is on the Canon so I spent a long time testing those colors and actually like each icon that I do in each color like has a different color setting that I have to do so each sheet and sometimes even like half of a sheet has to be done like completely separately in order to get the correct colors based on like what's on my screen which is very frustrating like I have adjusted the settings but like nothing is consistent for every single doodle so it's super annoying but I guess that's just how it is anyway that sticker is from Carly Plans Saturday I did finally make the decision to switch to tea from coffee so that I could see if that would help the migraines. So far, it hasn't, but honestly, I think it's just going to be worth it just so I hopefully don't get migraines ever again from withdrawal because they have been plaguing me for years since I've been drinking coffee because my tolerance was like way too high and the withdrawal was equally as bad. So I switched to tea. That sticker's from Papershire. And then I print and cut. I wrote orders like as you'll see later, but it really is um, printing and cutting stuff for the plan with me. That sticker is from Happy Day. And then I marked that I filmed the plan with me. I honestly just like didn't have enough filming stickers that matched the color scheme of the spread, which is like the first time I've ever really run into that issue of like just not having anything to use. So I just marked it with a, like a planning sticker. So I mean, it works because technically that's what I was doing. I was planning my planner while I was filming it. That sticker is from Creating a Co. And then I marked one of my favorite computer games, Mushroom Farm Evolution, with a sticker from Papershire. Um, I was also really tired that day. That's from Once More With Love. Did um, Core and Cardio. That's from Carly Plans again. And then Anastasia finally ate. She had not eaten for like a month. And she like does this every now and then because that's what ball pythons do. They just, any little thing that they decide is off and they will just not eat. Which I don't know how you can go a month without eating. But apparently snakes can go several months without eating. Um, so yeah, but she finally did eat again that night, so I was very glad about that. That is, that sticker is from Happy Daya. Called My Boyfriend, that's from Papershire. Um, binged YouTube, which again, I do pretty much like every single day to some capacity. I just mark it when I have room, and that is from SBC, I believe. And then I printed my Plan With Me paperwork that I do for every single spread just to plan it out like 100% before putting it down just so I can make sure everything fits so perfectly as you can see it do every week so I don't have to leave anything out or if I do like it's strategic. So that sticker is from Happy Daya. Sunday, I print and cut for the next Plan With Me. That's from Crafty Planner Co. I marked laundry in a half box so I could finally use this sticker from, I don't even know what shop this is from at this point. I think I got it on a freebie and I've just been waiting ever since for the right opportunity to use it, which is now because I made it. Um, and then I marked pulling stickers. I think that's an SPC sticker of that. And then, um, oh, I marked tea time in that little space, um, I guess, just because I had room to do so. And I do have a lot of tea stickers to use, but yeah, I've been drinking tea every morning since instead of coffee, and that is from Papershire. Um, I marked working out. Oh, I'm caught up again. Yay. So yeah, I worked out. I did weights actually, but I used this sticker of like um, an emoji from the Coffee Monsters Code, like with a little squats headband, because I mean, most likely squats was part of it to some degree. Um, yeah, I do squats with weights, of course. And then I marked that I was having like a really depressed day again. I don't even, I don't even think I had like a good like reason for this. I think it was just a combination of like what I was depressed about before with like the grind of my shop and the hamster wheel and just like knowing that I'm working towards, you know, getting off that hamster wheel and like getting a good system going. But in this interim period where I'm literally just catching up on stuff, like it's hard to feel like I'm working towards it because like no concrete action is really happening. Um, 
it's a combination of that and then that like the house hunting anxiety so i don't know i was just feeling down that stickers from the coffee monsters co um my boyfriend called me that day usually i like to call him to like talk through it but he like took the initiative and called me about it which was nice um that stickers from paper k i did film the plan with me that is from stick with the plan co and then i uh that evening the movie that i watched was princess diaries 2 which is one of the best movies ever, I think. I was just inspired by all these Princess Diaries kits coming out and really wanted to watch that one. It is so freaking funny. I forgot how funny it was. Like, it's it's just, like, a really good movie. Um, it has, like, a lot of nostalgia for me growing up. It's funny because, like, I look at it now and I'm like, I feel like Mia did kind of a lot of scummy things in that movie. Like, she was, like, just straight up cheating on that, like, British dude. So, I don't feel great about that. But, um, I remember when I was a kid, I was looking at it and I was like, oh, this is so romantic. Like, oh, that Nicholas guy is so hot. Like, I wish I was her. Like, imagine being a princess and having that closet and then having this really hot guy. Like, oh my God, that's, that's goals. And now I look at it and I'm like, she did not go about that the right way. To be fair, I don't think Nicholas did either. Like, he was the one initiating it, but like, it was just kind of a rough situation. It's funny, but I mean, the movie's freaking good. It's, I don't know, despite all of that, somehow, it's still really good, and also, I'm obsessed with Anne Hathaway, she's, like, my favorite actress ever, and Julie Andrews is also my favorite actress ever, so it's got two of my favorites, and, you know, the very attractive, um, Chris Pine, so, yes, that was a very enjoyable way to cap off the evening, that sticker, to mark that, is from Paper Echoes, I really tried to search for, like, any type of crown sticker among any of my millions of princess sticker sheets, none of them have, like, just a plain crown for some reason. So, yeah, RIP to that. That was not a reality. But anyways, um, yeah, so that's basically the spread. I put down as much little flower deco as I could basically everywhere except the top. Um, I just used that garland along the top, and oh my god, I love it. It really does not leave any room for any deco whatsoever, but also it doesn't need it because it, like, it is the deco, kind of. So, yeah, I do love how that turned out, that whole situation, and yeah, just the foil in general. I think, I feel like champagne lights was, like, a really out there kind of choice, like, a risky choice, but I feel like it turned out really freaking good despite that. So, I'm happy happy with that decision and it also contrasts really nicely against this like dark green kind of color so yeah this is just a gorgeous spread and that is it for this plan with me with that i'm officially caught up on plan with me so i can finally move on to the other things in my to-do list very exciting so that is it for this video thank you so much for watching if you want to like comment subscribe and share that would be amazing and i will see you in my next video ciao ciao